Hello everyone, this is General Odin. Welcome to our very first Let's Play Rise of the Three Kingdoms mod in Medieval 2 Total War. So this is actually the first time I've ever actually played this game. And I'm also playing the mod for it. So this is the grand campaign that I've selected. And so we have the Cow Clan, the Lu Clan, and the Sun Clan. And there are a whole bunch of other clans here that we will interact with. Well, probably fight and hopefully destroy. But let's just go through the one that we will be playing as. And I will be playing as the Cow Clan in 194 AD. So Cow Cow was well known for his gifted talent and ambitious nature. He was rather successful as a cavalry commander in his suppression of the Yellow Turban Rebels in Zhong Yuan. He is also one of the architects of the anti Dongzhou Alliance, supposedly forging a decree from the Emperor in order to rally the regional lords of the land against Dongzhou. His first... No wait, he first used his immense family wealth to obtain a volunteer army of five thousand men, and then exhibited his great leadership in the battles against Dong Zhou. When the alliance collapsed, Cao Cao led the remnants of his broken army to his holdings in Chen Lu. Following the advice of his retainers, he joined his friend Bao Jin, who was later killed in battle, in a rag hating the yellow turbans in... Qingzhou, obtaining the surrender of several hundred thousand individuals. Of these, he re reorganized the strongest into the Qingzhou troop. So Cao Cao's great family wealth and connections also provided much material assistance, but it had also attracted unwanted attention from bandits. Cao Cao's father, Cao Song, was living in Su Zhao's under the protection of Tao Kun's vassal Zhang Kai. However, Zhang Kai murdered Cao Song and stole his fortune, to which Cao Cao blamed Cao Kun. In an act of vengeance, Cao Cao led his forces into Zhu Zhao and massacred thousands of civilians. As Cao Cao pushed deeper into province Lu Bu, along with several of Cao Cao's vassals such as Chen Gong and Zhang Miao, rebelled in Yan province, seizing many of Cao Cao's territories there. Faced with chaos at home, Cao Cao agreed to call off the campaign, signing a treaty of Liu Bei who had arrived to relieve the beleaguered Cao Kun. Cao Cao now reorganized his armies and rushed back to Yan to force a showdown with Liu Bu to regain his lost territories and once again become the strongest power in Zhong Yuan. Alright, so that is the introduction for the Cao Clan and we will be this will be the clan that we will be playing as and here are the companions campaign rules. We'll be playing a long campaign versus a short campaign, which is whole 30 regions or 100 regions, including these very specific ones that I don't know where they are in the map, but we will find out, and it looks like we have important commanders, Cao Ren, Xiao Hou Yuan, and Zhu Chu. I think this guy was his bodyguard at some point. And important officials, Jun Yu, Cheng Yu, and Gu Zhao. So our faction banner is this blue symbol here, and this is Cao Cao. And we will be playing on medium only because I've never played this game before. So we're going to start here. And one of the really awesome things is the game loads pretty quick in between menus. So 194 AD, it is winter. Assassins or not. Assassins have been an integral part of Total War since its inception. However, how they are used can lead to AI issues and player frustration. For this mod in particular, some people, some players feel that assassins ruin the feel and flow of the game. With that in mind, not only has assassin recruitment been restricted to one agent per faction, but we are also giving them power to, uh, okay, well, if we can remove them, we will accept that and we'll disable it so the cow ambition arguably the greatest hero of the three kingdoms era cow cow rose to prominence co coinciding with the fall of the han dynasty 
countless legends and stories about Cao Cao and his exploits continue to be told unto this day, making the legend of Cao Cao one that has stood the test of time. As a warlord, he would create the greatest state during the era, called Wei, and possessed unparalleled power and might as he vied with dozens of other contending warlords to unite the country. Valiant resistance by Sun Quan and Liu Bei would to lead to crucial defeats at Chibi and Han Zong, respectively, causing him major setbacks in his goal to subdue his rem last remaining rivals. His ambition of uniting the land would never be realized, however, as he would die in the year 220, at the age of 65, passing his great legacy onto his son and successor Cao Pai. In a series of missions, you can retrace the steps of Cao Cao and his rise to power and dominance from his rivalry with Lu Bu to his war with Yuan Shao and beyond, to establish the Cao Cao clan as the premier power in China. Do you wish to undertake these missions and relive Cao Cao's rise to greatness? Of course! And so, one more. Securing Yan Province. During our brutal war of revenge against Tao Kwan for the death of Lord Cao's father, the villain Lu Bu took control of our lands in Yan Province with the help of our uns uh, with the help of our seemingly trustworthy vassals Chen Gong and Zhang Miao. With our home base taken, we ran short of supplies and were forced to pull out of Zhu Province. Now we must fight Lu Bu, who has amassed a large and talented army to reclaim Yan province and reassert ourselves as a dominant power in the central plains. Along with this, we must seek to expand our borders to the west and south so that others, so other warlords cannot take advantage of our momentary weakness. Objectives Control Puyang, defeat Yang Zhao faction, and control Sishui Pass, Guandu, Zhang Chun, Lu Yang, and Ruyan. Do you wish to check the Oh, yes I do. Oh, nice! They actually draw stuff for you on the map. This is new. This is very new to me. I actually think that's kind of cool. I don't know if this is actually part of the game, or if they just added this in the mod, so... That, I am not sure of, but if you do know, please leave a comment. Because I would actually kind of want to know if they actually added this as a mod. So it looks like pretty much around the territories we have to conquer. Uh, another note that I want to add is I will try to do this probably 20 minute episodes and also aside from that hold on faction announcements trait increases for all of these people uh -huh. okay can I scroll okay I'm actually not going to bother with this so I'm going to leave it at 20 minutes. I think that's a good time. I think this will be a long-term campaign. I'll probably do this potentially every three days or weekly, depending on how things go. It is January 30th right now. So I'm not entirely sure how we will go about with this campaign, but I think it will be the one of the longer campaigns that I'll try to play maybe once a week or... Or, you know, I'm not entirely sure at the moment. But let me know in the comments what you would like. Whether this should be a weekly series, or a daily series, or, you know, every few days. Because I know that some of you guys were asking, you know, that the campaign was a little bit long for the Shogun one, because it's daily. So I'm going to try to ease back on this one. And also because I've actually... How do you play this game? Oh, there we go. Arrow keys. Aha! That is how you move the map, the arrow keys. Alright, so... Let's see... So this is very similar to... Rome Total War. The original one. You can do all these cool things. Uh, Cao Chun, Faction Retainer, Command... Hardly a tactical genius, but this man showing some aptitude for leadership. Alright, 24, honor, loyalty, conviction. Oh, I can see all of my financials. And are currently projecting 10 grand a turn. Whoa! No, that's not true. 
two. Wait, what? Projected treasury total twenty two thousand. So twenty three hundred would be the monies we get. And you can see the family tree here. Wow, they did a great job. They went all the way back to Cal May. So you can see Cal Bao, Cal Tang, Cal Song, which is Cal Cal's father. So they're all dead over here. Cal Ang, Cal Pai, Cal Zang, Cal Z, Cal Shu, which is okay. So I guess they are cousins. Yes, Cal Ren. Faction Retainer, Cao Chun. Okay, alright, so let's get out of the family tree. There we go. And let's see the factions. Actually, I don't want to look at this. Show this scroll. So you can see where everyone is, how many forces there are, or troops under each guy's command, Crazy Tiger right there, Evil Comes. Yan Wei was the bodyguard general for Cal Cal, I think. Yeah, he dies at some point in a fire. I think. Don't quite remember. Oh, look, you can see the population, public order, income, governors. Wow, we have a lot of governors. This is very, very different from that other, from the more recent iterations of Total War. Yes, my lord. Pretty awesome. Hail so you can go through king. different different armies, hail it looks my like. King. Hail my king. And they say hail to their king. So I'm gonna have them auto-manage taxes. Construction. Wow. Well, let's see what we can build. If this is kind of, you know... Well, actually... I think I should manage some of the buildings. I just want to check the financials. 4,500 is for auto-managed taxes. And I think they try to get the highest for each one before they rebel, so... Let's see... Plus food production, armor... Cruise road and trade... So you can kind of see... What is beneficial? Faction retainer neutral. No other. So you can see the whole map of China here. And so I want to actually get in a battle before... You know, before this... Let's play ends. Or this episode ends. This guy is Li Tian. Neutral. And everyone's kind of everywhere. But we are at war with that guy, so... Have him come over here. Oh, that was a terrible move. And this guy will move very slowly over okay so if you click it looks like it navigates a little further or quickly with honor sire so right click do that and then what happens here I do have to note that the music is pretty nice so we are just going to Actually, I don't think ladders will be useful in this, so... We shall maintain the siege. Hail, my king. I'm gonna send this guy over By here to sire, help. We shall engage. Laying siege, so, noble two guys maintaining siege, king. it looks like? As you will, my king. Perfect. Hail, my king. By your will, sire, Hail your king. Engage. Laying siege, noble Fortified sire. pass. 
So I don't particularly know what would be good for this. So we're just gonna build ladders in that. We shall prevail in this siege here. Hail my, I respect you. Hail my king. Hail my king. I and then we have you thank here. Hail my king. Let us settle matters on the field of battle. And that's Hail the my you on capital. Hail my king. Hail my king. Yes. That's come over here. And doesn't look like I can fight him. Hmm. Well, I was actually gonna send reinforcements, but I guess we'll fight this one on the battlefield. Oh look, that's Guan Yu! And a lot of other dudes. The rising of birds in their flight is a sign of an ambush! And battle music. Speech, 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 speech. There is no speech. And so, I guess we'll have to start the uh, pad. Oh, yes, no speech. Thought there was gonna be a speech. Okay, so the camera is a little bit different in this game. And it looks like all the settings that I had set in the menu has decided to. Stop working! Great! Oh look! The battle has already started! Well that's helpful! Ah, uh, the cameras are terrible! Did they reset my, my, my buttons? That's unfortunate! Well, I guess we will zoom in on this fight. You can see that the models are really nice looking. I mean, they are fantastic. And these guys are bronze. The monk gets their bronze. This little infantry. And then we have these guys over here. Okay, archers over there. Okay, I wish I could like adjust the angle, but... I guess not yet. Where are you guys going? Alright. So my cavalry will be going for their archers. It looks like they're Cavalry is trying to intercept my cavalry. Ah, yes, you also have to hit R to run these guys to run. Here you can see the super awesome fighting. Only a fool could lose this battle! So says Shao Ku Dun! Actually, where is that man? I'm sure he looks like super badass. Oh, there he is. He has the eye patch from the most incredible game. Dynasty Warriors. I think that's the... Only half the Dynasty enemy Warriors 3 the general has no honor. motto. He flees the field of battle and abandons his men. Alright. Continue to crush your opponent. Reinforcements over here. Chasing down broken cavalrymen. And here, well, here is victory. So we're just running the remaining dudes. Well, a little bit of camera trouble, but I think. I think we handled it quite gracefully. Although we didn't actually know the battle had started, so that was kind of uh, depressing. 
Okay. Where is... There is one more opponent. Wait, are you telling me I have to chase this guy away? Well, I guess Behold so. Behold how our cowardly foe runs. There we go. All of Christendom will we be the battle here. by the so victory we have Shao won Dun here lost today. 82 men, but ended up killing 190. They lost 231. Wow, that's a lot of friendly fire. Anyways, we are at the 20 minute mark. So no I will probably end like it here. Board. Okay, so what can we do? We can either execute, yes, release, or ransom. We'll pay. So let's see, 39 ransom value. Wow, they actually tell you how much money you get. Oh, let's make 200. Aww. Well, will, we that happened. We, ran we tried to ransom them and then... It didn't work out too well. Shao Dun looks pretty badass on the battlefield. So, hail my, hail my king. With honor, so I'm just gonna hail have this guy come king. over here. Hail my king. With honor, combine my forces hail together. My king. Hail my king. Yes, my liege. All right, so I would like to thank you guys all for watching this episode. Let me know what kind of schedule you would like. I probably won't start recording these all at the same time and so I will see you next time and leave a like subscribe and leave a comment all right see you next